iTunes for the cause. Hollow Fractal Graphic Journey, Webisode 4. Since the first living thing gazed upward through the darkness, woman has seldom been content merely to be born, to endure, and to die. With a curious fervor, she has struggled to unlock the mysteries of creation and the world in which she lives. In the universe of Dionys, dream time is a place where mysteries can unfold. Within the graphically rich torrents of the imaginal realms of space and time, she will get a hollow fractal graphic glimpse into a world she longs to know. Her objective is to bring back to the world what she has learned. of my body. This is amazing. I can see myself still lying there. I thought I heard the psychedelic Buddha talking to me in my dreams. Well, what do you know? There's a portal opening up above me. I think I'll just float in. I think this is the prettiest portal I've ever seen. Look at the color. Nobody could possibly understand this unless they saw it with their own two eyes. Hey, what's that? Something is coming out of the portal. Hello, Dionys. My name is Holographic Perception, but you can call me Hollow P for short. I can see in ways that others cannot see. And, speaking of having vision that spawns all perspectives, I can see every inch of you right now. 
Do you always travel this light? Oh, yeah, uh, excuse me. I didn't mean to be rude. I usually sleep in my birthday suit. It's quite all right. You're in the vortex now. Just think of your role and it will appear. The psychedelic Buddha told me all about you. And we have a lot to explore. Take my hand. Come with me! OMG! This is not like any vortex I've seen. It's completely black. Don't be alarmed. I take shortcuts through here all the time. We're just in the void between dimensions. Look! Our destination is coming toward us now. Our universe is driven by the vacuum. It is the space between you and me that connects us. Instead of matter being some type of entity that comes out of nowhere, matter is the result of the division of the space itself. We are looking at the latticework of how space divides. This is the structure of the hologram. You mean space is not empty? Yes. Hold on to your rope. We're going back into the vortex. Wee! Where are we going now? You'll see. We are an amalgamation of energy systems that form the human hologram. Furthermore, all of life is a self-organizing system that divides into infinity. A matrix of electromagnetic circuitry that connects and energizes manifest creation in one unified body of harmonic resonance. You see, Dionys, we are all actually one. I hear that people say that we are one all the time, but you're saying this is not just a concept, but a scientific fact? The answer is yes. In the mathematical structure of the universe, the atom is a mini black hole that is continuously fed by the vacuum. The electrons within it spin for billions and billions of years with no apparent input energy. You see, by this, we can begin to understand the mechanics of the foundation of creation. All electrons are entangled with all other electrons that exist. This is how we are all connected. So now you're saying that we can describe some of the most esoteric knowledge of the spiritual belief systems in terms of physics? Yes. In fact, it doesn't matter what one believes. Whether you are religious or an atheist, straight or gay, black, white or other, name your own duality and fill in the space. The hologram all works the same, whether one believes it or not. Wow, that's a strong statement, Hollow P. Yes, the truth always is. Come, we have a few more stops. Another truth we hear people speak about is that we each create our own reality. The other part of the feedback loop, a holographic fractal is a feedback loop. The other part of the feedback loop is that simultaneously reality is creating you. OMG! Look at that! Aww! If you constantly put negative thoughts into the field, more than likely negative things are going to come your way, as well as the environment around you. This is evident when you see the pain, the suffering, the wars, and the destruction on Earth. But there is an upside. You can make the choice to become more harmonious with nature. Feed more positive information into the holofractographic vacuum. And this one change will cause a reaction that will change the nature of the entire hologram. A single person can make a difference. Wow, Earth has to wake up. That's why you and so many others who believe in the imaginal psychedelic realms come into the Vortex. Visual, music, and performance artists especially have the ability to bring new information to the masses. And this, Dionys, is your job. The covenant embedded within the human matrix and your entire universe is built within a vibratory structure that follows the path of geometric patterns. Form is 
is the shape of consciousness. And as an artist, you literally create with light that which has the ability to illuminate the masses or cast them into darkness. Just depends on which side you're on. Wow, how do you know so much? I told you, my name is Holographic Perception. I possess a vision that spans all perspectives. I have learned so much today. Hey, can we just float around in these cool, hollow, fractal graphic colors for a while before I have to go back to Earth? Of course. You're in the vortex. Anything is possible here. This is so much fun. It's awesome pretty, too. All right, goddess. It's time for you to go. I won't be coming through the wormhole with you this time, but know that I am always with you. We'll meet again in your holofractal graphic dreams. Hey, why does your head pop in and out like that? It's just the way that I am. It's a byproduct of having so many eyes. Sweet dreams, darling. Goodbye, Halloween. See you soon. She told me it was short for holographic perception. Good. What else did you learn? I learned that our universe is driven by the vacuum of space itself. And the space between everything is what connects everything. The structure of what seems like empty space divides and multiplies in the form of a never-ending geometric holographic fractal that divides from infinitely large to infinitesimally small. I learned that our antiquated three-dimensional earth physics states that matter is what determines the space around it. According to my holofractal graphic journey, that's not entirely true. In fact, it is the space itself that determines the state of all matter. Hmm, you retain that information well. Make sure that you share this intelligence download with all that you come in contact with. Use the medium of your artwork and your writings to translate this intel into a form that your 3D brethren will be able to comprehend. And I'll be communicating with you soon. Back to bed. Good night. Good night.
Thanks for watching Cartoons for the Cause.